today we are back in Ave Maria, Florida to answer your burning questions about the growth of this amazing community. Over the last year since we recorded our first introduction to Ave Maria, we have been asked many questions about the growth and future plans for the community. Well, we've done our best to answer them, but now I decided it was time for us to sit down with Baron Collier Companies and they gave me 45 minutes of information regarding the growth and future plans of this community. Today we're going to answer your burning questions about the future of Ave Maria. This channel has everything to do with living in Southwest Florida. If that's the information you're looking for, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified about all future videos. My passion is working with buyers and sellers in Southwest Florida, and particularly here in Ave Maria, Florida. If you are looking to buy or sell a home here or anywhere in Southwest Florida, call me today, text me, email me, reach out, 239-450-5786. Let's talk today. The residential growth of Ave Maria has jumped in the last two years. In fact, they went almost doubled their uh, pace of growth during the last two years. CC Homes is in the process of expanding actually into the fields over here, which we'll show you on the map. They're going to continue to the north of Silverwood. Del Webb Naples is in the final stages of their current phases and will be expanding also to the north of their current community and the growth is exponential. Now, currently there's 3,800 homes that have been built and closed here in Ave Maria with 500 or approximately or just changes by the day, 500 homes that are under contract or in the process of being built. So that puts the community roughly 50% of the way up to the 8,500 initially planned homes. Now, during my meeting, I was told that there has been approved the purchase and inclusion of over 900 acres to be added to Ave Maria. 640 acres at the sod farm at the entrance of the community and an additional over 300 acres to the northwest of the current boundary of Ave Maria. Now, the, who those builders will be for those two areas, we don't know yet. Too early in the plans, but it will be major builders that will be doing those projects. Additionally, I found out that Pulte Group has been assigned to do the additional residential area to the north east of Avalon Park. Now we don't know which brand of, of Pulte Group will be in that area, but we do know that it will be a Pulte Group family community. Now there was one negative aspect of my conversation with Baron Collier, and that is the progress with the United States Postal Service has not gone well in establishing a zip code for Ave Maria. Currently, the zip code includes Immokalee, and if you know anything about the community, when you pull up the zip code, it says you live in Immokalee, Florida. Currently, under the current standards for the U.S. Postal Service, the community is too small to have its own zip code. Baron Collier continues to work on trying to get this resolved, but hopefully with the inclusion of Big Cypress, and Ave Maria, maybe the total homes and headcount will become large enough for a zip code to come out here, or quite possibly, the rules could change. Another area of concern for families moving to Ave Maria is schools. Now in my conversation, the topic of the future elementary, the public elementary school came up. And what I was told is that Collier County Public Schools is still planning to build the elementary school here in Ave Maria. However, other more emergent needs in the district are going in front of it and the school is slated 
Now, I don't know whether this is opening or beginning of construction for 2026. So that is still an item that is an issue here for Ava Maria is the elementary school is being delayed by the county school district. Now, Ava Maria is home to private schools. Here behind me is the Donahue Academy. And this is a private Catholic school that focuses on a classical style of education. And I was told that there is a very long wait list to get into the school. Now, not coming from the school itself, but I was told that there is plans for them to bring in modular classrooms in the coming future, don't know the timing quite yet, that could double the capacity for the school. That's going to answer the needs for a lot of people that are on the waiting list. Like the town, Ava Maria University continues to grow at record pace. The current dorm space is either at or close to capacity. A lot of the rooms are now being converted to triple dorms. This university is growing rapidly. Now, one thing that I was told is that the community developers and the university leaders meet regularly to discuss the growth of both the town and the university and they are on the same page. In fact, one of the things like if you noticed in old maps of Ava Maria and the current development plans is that there was a shift in where residential and where the university grounds were. The university has more space now and they've given different ground for residential space so that the university has plenty of growth capability and space for the future to facilitate the needs of this growing university. During my time with the Baron Collier companies, they actually allowed me to give some feedback which led to me asking questions about what are the plans for increased amenities here in the community. There have been conversations and uh, other blogs and other YouTube channels that have commented on the fact that the, the park and the area for kids is on the older side and uh, smaller side. So in giving them that feedback, they told us about the plans for improving this area. Now number one, the water park, which is a big feature of the Ava Maria community. They are working on building shade areas and expanding and revitalizing it. They realize that, well, it was one of the first things built in the community and it is time for a facelift. So that is in the works and in the plans for the future. They are bringing in a dog park to the area. They are expanding the ball fields. Here in North Park, you will find softball fields, soccer fields, the playground, frisbee golf, and they recognize that some of the fields just aren't large enough. So one of their commitments is in this area behind here over to my right is a field where they are going to develop new soccer fields regulation size or closer to regulation size to allow for proper sports. Also in this area they're talking about possibly putting in a turf field which will allow for multiple applications so they are focusing on making sure that the children of Ava Maria have plenty of space to exercise and be able to participate in intramural sports and anything else that goes along with sports facilities. For us adults they are looking and, and kids too they are going to be adding pickleball courts to this area as well. They want the downtown area to be an area where you can park your car, walk and visit the shops and, and get a cup of coffee or a smoothie or just enjoy the downtown life and it be the center, the hub of the community. So the plans long term are to uh, eventually help some of the service type businesses to migrate to some of the other commercial areas if possible and allow other restaurants and drink shops and just 
different things, boutique type shops come to the, to the downtown area. As they re-plan and, and re-adjust the downtown area, businesses like Vicky Bakery, which is a classic Miami Cuban bakery, is coming to the community. Their goal is to attract more restaurants and more shops like Vicky to come into the area to give downtown Ave Maria that classic community feel. Now one of the other things, and this is a big one, and exciting news, um, not immediate, but the one question that I'm always asked is, I want to come visit Ave Maria, but I don't want to stay in Naples because I want to actually experience what it's like to live in Ave Maria for a couple nights. Well, as you know, right now there are no hotels or bed and breakfasts really in Ave Maria. Well, the plans are, they are currently looking actively and aggressively for someone to build and operate a small 100 bed type boutique hotel here near the center of town. Don't know where the location is going to be because nothing is far enough long for that, but they are actively looking for something here in the center of town to be that boutique classic hotel style operation. And then additionally, hopefully, a larger hotel will be able to be built along oil well somewhere that will facilitate both Ave Maria and Big Cypress for the needs and also facilitate uh, accommodations for the businesses like Arthrex and the, the future companies that are coming to that industrial commercial area to be able to facilitate visitors coming in to meet with them and all the things that go along with running those type of operations. Big news, plans are in works for a hotel. Another big item that I've been told that I can mention is very close to being finalized and that is Sunshine Ace Hardwares is going to bring a smaller store out to Ave Maria. It may be in this general area or it may be up along the oil well road area. Not sure 100% where it's going to be, but they are talking about bringing a store here so that the community has their local needs met for the hardware and all the benefits that Sunshine Ace Hardware brings. Fishing supplies, housewares, it's a great store and would be a great addition to Ave Maria and simplify life not having to drive all the way in to Naples for your daily needs. We are here to give you some reference to where we're located. Right behind me is the gas station and the dog grooming, pet sitting uh, shops and the brewery and we are located where the next large commercial area is going to be built here in the community. There are some already firmed up plans. We know that a Dunkin' Donuts is coming. We know that Lido's Pizza, which is a Northeast pizza chain, is coming down here. We know that a Cold Stone Creamery is in the plants. The big inclusions to this area, or approximate area, is in the close to being final. And they told me I could mention it. NCH is planning to bring a 6,000 square foot immediate care facility to this area. Now, along with the urgent care facility, our plans to bring specialists like cardiologists and those type of doctors out here once a week or once a month or whatever the need actually becomes for patients here in Ave Maria so that you don't have to go all the way in to the North Naples campuses or the downtown campuses. They're gonna bring some of those physicians out here for your needs. Behind me is the 640 acres of the sod farm that has been approved to be included into Ave Maria. The plans for this area is going to be residential area, of course. They're gonna be adding community uh, don't know who the builder is going to be yet, but there will be a residential community on the 640 acres. A described as big, and she went big with her hands, park will be added to this area. And then, of course, in the area along Ave Maria Boulevard, the plans are to bring retail and restaurant type businesses and potentially 
if everything works out, a second hotel in the future to provide for that much needed need here in Ave Maria. We're at the west side of the entrance to the community and behind me is where an assisted living facility is going to be run by a private organization and then the community, the developers, Baron Collier, are entering into a joint venture to bring 300 market rate apartments to this area. Now they're doing it as a joint venture because they are looking make sure that these are affordable apartments, not the luxury, not the rash of luxury rate apartments that have been coming to the north part of Naples. This is going to be affordable apartments for the community. Often talked about when discussing Ave Maria is the lack or the distance to an emergency room or hospital. And for a long time there has been conversation of the potential of a hospital or emergency room coming to the fields behind me. We are right now just east of the Arthrex facility and you can see all the way at the far end of the field is where the assisted living and the apartment is going to be, the entrance to Ave Maria is. So what is the plan for this area? This is actually part of the future phase of Ave Maria. So what is coming here? Well, it was confirmed that NCH Hospital is in the plans of developing a, an emergency room facility like they did at the corner of Collier Boulevard and Immokalee Road. With the future plans to develop the emergency room into a full campus of NCH. Now, if something happens to their plans for NCH, I was told that there are other hospital organizations that are lining up to take the place of NCH if something were to happen there. And with the big town of Big Cypress coming just over to the west and Ave Maria's growth, a hospital is absolutely needed here. Now, what else is going to happen here in this 100 acres? The plan currently is for a light industrial commercial area. The main focus is, is that this area does not have an area for the service businesses that facilitate the needs of Ave Maria to operate. We're talking about auto repair, golf cart repair, we're talking about the HVAC contractors, the roofing contractors, the different services that currently have their employees driving all the way from Ave Maria into Naples to pick up their utility trucks to come all the way back out to Ave Maria and service the community. So this area is going to be focused on light industrial and commercial. One thing is in the plans is that there is a large national company potentially looking at operating a facility here in this area as well. She wouldn't tell me who it is, but it is very close to signing and will bring jobs to this area in addition to the local service things. Over 100 businesses are on a waiting list to fill this area. It will grow very quickly once the county and all the plans are approved. So stay tuned, they are listening. Ave Maria needs these services. Ave Maria needs a hospital. Emergency room, Big Cypress is gonna need it as well. Big Cypress plan does not give a space big enough for a hospital. So this is a very likely spot and a much needed need for this part of the county. Today we've been in Ave Maria answering your burning questions about this fantastic community. If you're considering a move to Ave Maria or anywhere in Southwest Florida, I am your realtor. Contact me today, 239-450-5786. I can only help you if you reach out to me today. I'm an expert on Ave Maria and the surrounding area. So give me a call today, send me an email, shoot me a text, whatever you need to do, reach out to me today.